like to live My original You should know where to go The S.O.L Don't touch, don't touch It's fake Don't touch, don't touch It's bad Don't touch, don't touch It hurts Don't touch, don't touch It destroys Don't touch, don't touch Standards Organization of Nigeria, improving lives through standards. It was a flurry of activities with agitations for improved quality life premised on good governance. The search for quality life is the responsibility of everyone and it requires a conscious effort to always watch out for goods of acceptable standard, one that offers value for money. Understanding and appreciating the imperatives of standard and its relevance to the consumer and society is our focus on this week's edition of your favorite Monday evening tonic, Standard and You. It's the initiative of the Standards Organization of Nigeria, the SON, aimed at educating consumers on the dangers of fake and substandard products. I bring you greetings from the Director General of the SON, management and dedicated staff of the agency. Ifeinwa Okunkwa is my name. Welcome to the program. The Standards Organization of Nigeria, SON, brings a new lease of life to Nigerian SMEs. SON has put a greater premium on developing standards aimed at improving the exports of the nation's food and cash crops. This explains why we have developed more standards for Nigeria's produce like sesame, cocoa, curry, and more, courtesy our accredited state-of-the-art laboratories. In keeping with the federal government's ease of doing business, SON has simplified its processes and turned around time for sun cap and man cap to reduce substandard products and legal arm to prosecute offenders. Join the Standards Organization of Nigeria in reading our nation of substandard goods due to consistent market surveillance and raids. See something, say something. The Standards Organization of Nigeria, improving life through standards. Glad to have you back on the program. It's the ultimate desire of every consumer to purchase goods of acceptable standard, one that provides value for money spent. The prevalence of fake and substandard products in the country has made that task unrealistic in some cases. The truth is that everyone deserves a good product, whether one can afford it or not. Why is quality product necessary? Where and how can it be purchased? Join me on this journey to quality as we examine the imperatives of standard and its relevance to consumers and the economy. There are thousands of products in the markets. While some were imported into the country, others were manufactured locally. Investigations by the Standards Organization of Nigeria revealed that the bulk of these products are substandard, a development that poses grave danger to not just the consumer but the economy at large. Fake and substandard products are goods of low quality or standard. These are out of specification products that fail to meet the acceptable standard, that is, the minimum requirement of the standard. It costs money. This one is just a single standard. So you can imagine other standards, because every product has a standard. And it's not a one off thing that after approving a standard for a particular product, that's the end of the day. No. The standard is reviewed periodically, and each time the standard is being reviewed, it takes money also, you know. So the standard is there. Now, we go to the next step in the fight against uh, substandard products, the sampling of products. Because when we talk about the sources of these products, we have products from the ports, you know, the sources, they come from the ports. They come from the land borders. Some of them are smuggled. We go to the markets to look for them. We go to warehouses. Some come from state offices. I want people to have an idea, you know, to appreciate what SON is doing. Because it's not just that the products are somewhere, it's just gone pick. 
They come from all sources and they come from all over the country. These products are often produced in non-hygienic places by non-experts or professionals with the sole aim of making profits, thereby placing self far and above consumer satisfaction. Those people that fake known brands, you see like uh, mobile oil, you see total oil, you see MRS oil, you know, people know that these products are good, good quality. Some unscrupulous Nigerians will go and start faking them. And that is very big work we are fighting. It's not only in oil and other products, electrical products. You see now the Nigerian uh, electric cables, people go out of the country, bring fake cables and write it made in Nigeria and put names of known, you know, known brands on them. So these are the battles we, 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 we fight. And expired products, some products that are expired, they're not supposed to be used. You see people bringing them in, like cylinders, gas cylinders, LPG cylinders, used products, used tires. These are contrabands. We, should, we, we shouldn't allow contra, uh, used cylinders, used uh, tires to come in. So I only mention this so, so that people will know what we mean by substandard products. All these, we are talking, all these things are all substandard products. Those behind the imitation or faking of genuine products do not give attention to details of standard procedures and sell their goods at ridiculously cheap price to the unsuspecting consumer. For them, what is important is the profit derived from the sale of their products and not consumer satisfaction. An electric bulb, a good electric bulb that has NIS on it or some product registration on it, which you can use for two years, three years in your house, you know, without changing it. You buy it for, for example, 400 naira. Then you see another bulb of maybe 150 or 200. You buy it. That bulb, you use it for two weeks. Some two weeks is gone. Some three weeks is gone. Some one week even is gone. Then you can buy another one, 150 again. Two weeks is gone. You buy another 150 again. Before two months, you have spent more than 400 naira. You'll have used to buy good bulb. So our advice to Nigerians is to go for products that have NIS, that have Mancap logo, that have sound registration numbers on them. Because you'll be assured of the quality. The, these products are products you will buy and save your money over time. Don't look at the price. The price can be, yes, is it may be higher than those bad ones in the market, but at the long run, you gain, you know, more from buying them. The impact of such products on the economy is enormous, especially on the nation's industrial sector. Every time you purchase a substandard product, whether due to low purchasing power, ignorance or poverty, you create a market for such business to thrive, erode consumers' confidence on the genuine products, and create a disturbing level of unemployment in the country. It has implication for the reputation of firms that produce quality products. Because most of the perpetrators of fake and substandard products they fake products that are doing well in the marketplace. They fake brands that are performing very well. And the moment they begin to go into the nefarious business of faking, they damage the reputation of the firms that produce the standard product that they are faking. Because for some you know, innocent consumers, they may be consuming or using the fake products, thinking that is the original product. And once they don't have the right kind of or the expected impact or the expected outcome from the consumption or usage of such products, they think that is the main company that is not producing a good product. So it has a major implication for the reputation and the goodwill 
of companies, of manufacturers that are producing standard and quality products. Secondly, it has a reputational effect as well for the country. Because some of these fake products are also exported out of the country. And once those who buy these products outside the country, particularly in the sub-region, it creates a perception that the quality of products coming from Nigeria are substandard products. So it has implications even internationally about the reputation of our country, about the reputation of our industrial sector. It also has implications for health and safety. Some of these products are products that could impact on the safety of the citizens. For instance, we have had incidents of collapsed building. We have had incidents of fire outbreak in buildings. Some of these things are traceable to substandard and fake products. Because if fake iron rods or reinforcement bars are used for the construction of story buildings, it will affect the structural integrity of the building. It is possible that the contractor that have used these products does not know that these products are substandard because some of these things, unless it goes through the SON, by physically looking at some of these products, the consumer may not be able to determine whether they are fake or they are, they are, they are original. So inadvertently, some consumers buy some of these products thinking that they are original products. And when they use it for the construction of buildings, you have incidents of building collapse, which leads to loss of lives. It leads to permanent disability in some people. It leads to loss of revenue for the property developers and so on and so forth. It's a global problem with devastating effects on economies of nations. Tackling the menace in Nigeria is a herculean task, one which the Standards Organization of Nigeria has shown remarkable strides in reading the nation of fake and substandard products. When it comes to the cost SON is committing into the fight, the sampling of these products, because before the, the product will be tested in the lab, it has to be sampled. So our people go there to do the sampling. That sampling attracts cost. Because logistics for people that will go there, some people travel out of their station to go and get samples of products. Logistics, you know, the manpower used costs money. Now you do the sampling, you transport the samples to the laboratories. It costs money. Depending on the, the nature of the sample, you know, because every sample must retain its integrity. So you must know that. The packaging, the way you send it, what kind of transport you use to send it so that it will not damage, retain that integrity when it gets to the lab. If not, the lab will reject it. And it depends on the location of the lab and also the source of the sample. How far is it going? Is it going by air? Is it going by road? All these things cost money. So SON is paying for all these things. You know? And they run into millions of naira every year, every quarter, every month. You know? So it's very expensive to find substandard products. The agency over the years has evolved measures, which includes the expansion of its quality infrastructure to protect consumers from fake and substandard products. Despite successes recorded in this regard, the SON's chief executive, Farouk Salim, believes that overcoming the menace requires the support of Nigerians. According to him, it's imperative for Nigerians to understand the danger of patronizing such products, a task which he disclosed that the SON will embark on with renewed vigor and commitment. We have to work with the judges, we have to work with the police, we have to work with the, the secret uh, service to, for information, we have to work with the customs. So it's uh, enforcement um, is important, but part of the enforcement part, part is sensitizations and enlightenment, which is more important because the majority of Nigerians are honest importers. The majority of the people bringing f uh, products into this country do things honestly. Only a few who spoil it for them. So the more we work with the ones who are doing things the right way, 
the more they are going to uh, make it difficult for their colleagues to spoil their businesses for them. So that's why from the beginning, we have to do a holistic approach to the program. We just can't enforce, uh, but we still cannot withdraw our enforcement and uh, try to appease. So we are, we are going to interact. Um, the people on the field, when they realize that we are here to help them, will, will be our enforcers. Most of these uh, importers have organizations, and these organizations know who the people who are doing the right things are and who are not doing the right thing. As long as we're going to work with them as, uh, for cooperation, I'm, I'm very confident we'll not have a problem. Salim, therefore, enjoins everyone to be part of the war against fake and substandard products in Nigeria. The, the whole idea of uh, protection of, the, of, of uh, faking and counterfeiting is to protect uh, manufacturers and consumers. The, the manufacturers spend a lot of money and put a lot of uh, infrastructure on the ground. They employ people who have families they, they feed. So it's our duty to make sure they, they have their jobs and they do it, and then the products they produce have uh, good opportunities in the market. They don't compete with substandard products that are, you know, are, are cheap, but they are dangerous. So it's, a, it's not, it's, it's like a case of chicken and egg. Which one comes first? One doesn't know, but they are there. We have to help the product counterfeiting and protect people from that. But in the process, we make sure that people who are doing what they are supposed to do have opportunities to go to the market without uh, people competing against them unfairly. It is important to strengthen the oversight uh, function of the uh, standard organization of Nigeria. This is why it is good for consumers to al always watch out for products that are certified by SOM. This will help to guide in the choice of products that they use. So these are some of the implications. Of course, it also has revenue implication. Because most times, those who perpetrate these things, some of them are not properly registered. They don't pay taxes. They operate in one obscure corner where nobody knows where they are. And invariably, they don't even pay any tax to government. So there's also the, the aspect of revenue loss to government because they, they operate on the ground because of the illegality of their actions. Standards Organization of Nigeria, SON, brings a new lease of life to Nigerian SMEs. SON has put a greater premium on developing standards aimed at improving the exports of the nation's food and cash crops. This explains why we have developed more standards for Nigeria's produce like sesame, cocoa, curry, and more, courtesy our accredited state-of-the-art laboratories. In keeping with the federal government's ease of doing business, SON has simplified its processes and turned around time for sun cap and man cap to reduce substance standard products and legal arm to prosecute offenders. Join the Standards Organization of Nigeria in reading our nation of substandard goods due to consistent market surveillance and raids. See something, say something. Standards Organization of Nigeria, improving life through standards. You're watching Standard and You. Nigeria's most watched television program on product quality and safety. Do not forget our transmission time is 6.30 p.m. Mondays on this station. The Director General of the Standards Organization of Nigeria, Malam Farouk Salim, received special recognition by the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria for attaining greater heights in public service. The honor conferred on the DG of SON and five other pharmacists at a presidential reception and Thanksgiving dinner by the PSN in Abuja was witnessed by friends and associates of the recipients of the award. President of PSN, Mazi Sam Ogu Abunwa, commended the Director General of the SON and expressed confidence on the DG to provide quality leadership that will engender positive changes on the organization. He praised the commitment of the recipients to expanding their knowledge by building capacities beyond pharmacy to become effective managers of men and resources. Pharmacist Dere Awoshika, retired permanent secretary and chairman board of director of Access Bank PLC, was special guest of honor at the occasion.
Welcome to the feedback segment of the program. I am Halimot Osifo. Buying and selling is an integral part of our everyday living. We cannot overlook the fact that our insatiable needs make us demand for various goods and services. Before making a purchase, there are a lot of factors to consider, no doubt. But you must know that buying a product isn't just about the price, it's about getting value for money. It's not just about the quantity, it's about how well the product serves you. It's not just about making a purchase, it's about knowing what to look out for in order to buy right. In the same vein, selling a product isn't just about making profits, it's about satisfying consumer needs. It's not just about having buyers, it's about gaining consumer confidence and loyalty. It's not just about selling, it's about complying with standards to sell authentic. Whether you're a manufacturer, consumer or an importer, you have responsibilities beyond buying, producing or selling products. Join the quality vanguard by insisting on product quality and reporting cases of fake and substandard products to the Standards Organization of Nigeria. And that concludes this week's episode of the program Standard and You. For any question, complaints or suggestion, you can send in your messages with your full name and location to the number 0705972 Tag along with us on Facebook at Standard and You, Instagram and Twitter at Standard and You underscore. You can catch up with missed episodes online at youtube.com forward slash Standard and You. As always, buy original, sell authentic and use only the best. Bye for now. Why you dey buy it? Yeah. Take product to yeah. you. Make you dey careful. No go damage your life. You've got one life to live. 